Connecticut's news station. This is the Yukon Championship Celebration. Good morning, Yukon Nation. It is deja vu in downtown Hartford. We are celebrating another Yukon Men's Basketball National Championship. But the best deja vu. You're looking live at the scene in the capital city this morning. Thousands are packing the streets of Hartford to celebrate the Huskies and their back-to-back -back national titles. We are so glad you're here this morning. Thanks for joining us for our special coverage of the Yukon Championship celebration. I'm Sarah Sanchez. And I'm Keith McGilvery. Grateful you're here. So much excitement to get to along the parade route as we celebrate the national champion Yukon Huskies for the second straight year. Doesn't that sound good? And if you came out for the parade last year or remember last year's championship celebration, the parade route identical, all starting at the state capitol, heading down Trinity Street under the Soldiers and Sailors Memorial Arch, then down Jewel Street and on to Trumbull Street, right to the Excel Center. And of course, that's where the championship rally will be held with all of these fantastic players, coaches, state leaders, for what is sure to be a huge party. And we are so excited to, that you're joining us this morning because for a lot of fans, there are tens of thousands of fans in Hartford right now. This is the first time they're going to get to see their team in the flesh. Really exciting stuff. So our team is spread out all across the parade route to celebrate the championship team and take you there live. Ryan Breton, Jim Altman, Bridget Biorlo, and sports director Jonah Carp, who's been following the team since the very beginning. They are all here for the UConn championship parade this morning. Yeah, and that is what makes Connecticut's news station so phenomenal. It is events and celebrations like this that we live for, that we love to share with mm -hmm. all of you, and it is just getting started. Along the parade route this morning, fans are celebrating. Take a look here. The Hartford Fire Department is out there getting things started. Uh, this is Yukon Fire here giving the crowd a good wave. Phenomenal to see as fans are already cheering along that parade route. I saw a Husky banner and a blanket there as well. And Sarah, look at these beautiful crowds and it is already well underway. And it's also a great time too for some of the sponsors of the UConn men's basketball team to get out and show faces of their organizations who have been following our men's team throughout this entire journey through the oh. championship, through regular season. It's good to see. All right, meteorologist Ryan Breton is a huge sports fan. He also <laughs> knows a thing or two about the weather in his shades. Ryan, you are a New England guy. You live for New England sports, so I'm congratulating you as well on this big win. What is it like out there? Sarah, good morning. Great to be with you from the very beginning of the parade route, the Capitol just behind us. And just as we came on the air, the beginning of the parade getting underway. We have several groups marching out ahead of the team, which will ultimately be at the end. But we've got a great group of people here. I wanted to introduce you first to my friend Bernadette. And Bernadette, take a look uh, behind at the camera here. Tell us a little bit about your hat. It's an 04. I got it out of the closet, resurrected it. So it is back again for another win back to back this year, though. We love it. We love it. And also wanted to introduce you to our friend Kyla here. Kyla, take a look at the camera. She is a huge UConn fan. Tell us about your little guy, Jonathan. Who's that? That's my husky? <laughs> That's my husky. You excited to be here? Yeah. yeah. The whole family here. You know, we've got a great crowd. And as you can see, we'll pan around the very beginning of the parade going underway here. Uh, I'd say in the last half hour, this has really filled up. We've got about eight rows of people behind us at this point, and this is just the very beginning of the route, and we will keep you updated as we go through the next hour and a half of excitement. We're live on the parade route in Hartford. We'll send it back to you. All right, Ryan, I was going to say, because you are a meteorologist, people on the fence about coming out to the parade this year, what say you? What's it like out there weather-wise? It looks like it's pretty good out there. Yeah, I know, poor Ryan. I don't know if he can hear us. That's the problem. It is so loud out there. I think the best part about a parade like this, though, is everyone coming out to support their team. You see she had an 04 hat yes. coming out. I love seeing all the fans. It's really cool. And to see the young fans, too. Oh, the little ones. Yeah. That is so beautiful. If you're out there celebrating with your family this morning, send us your pictures. We would love to see them and share them. And as we talk about the road here to this national championship, it has been a long one for the Huskies, full of all sorts 
sorts of challenges and obstacles, but they never let it get in their way, really helping them seal the deal on these back-to-back -back incredible national titles. Husky history made once again this season for the UConn men's basketball team. A season of triumphs, accolades, and a first for the Huskies, earning its first unanimous number one ranking in the Associated Press Top 25 poll. UConn had the top overall seed in the men's tournament, clobbering the 16-seed Stetson in the first round and making easy work of the 9-seed Northwestern in the second round at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn. Then the focus turned to Beantown as the TD Garden hosted a rematch of the 2023 national title game, this time in the Sweet 16 round. The Huskies remained victorious again, repeating their victory over five-seed San Diego State, as they did in the 2023 National Championship. Illinois came next in the Elite Eight, and the Huskies lit up the court in Boston with a destructive 30-point run over the three-seed to clinch a spot in the Final Four. Out west in the desert, UConn's road to the championship started early with travel troubles out to Glendale. After long delays and mechanical problems, the Huskies able to get a plane out to Arizona to prepare to defend their title. They faced the Alabama Crimson Tide in the Final Four, and the Tide rolled in favor of the Huskies, earning them a spot in the national title game against number one seed Purdue. Faced with a tall task in the form of two-time player of the year Zach Eady, the Huskies prevailed, holding off the Boilermakers in Glendale and entering their second straight national championship and sixth in school history. We watched that film and they get that three-pointers off, you know, people going down there and helping on Edie. Uh, you know, the coaches did a great job game planning and made sure that um, that was a focus on that we didn't leave the three-point line and, and let Edie do all, you know, his, his damage. It's the best two-year run, I think, in a very, very long time just because uh, of everything we lost from last year's team. Um, to lose that much and, and uh, again, to do what we did again, uh, you know, it, it's got to be as, too, uh, as, as, as impressive a two-year run as the program's had uh, since prior to whoever did it before Duke. Has followed the Huskies all year and all throughout the tournament from Brooklyn to yeah. Boston to Glendale, Arizona. He's been with the team. Jonah joins us live now. He's at the end of the route near where the rally will be held with some more fans waiting for their Huskies. Hi, Jonah. Hi, Sarah. This is fun. We remember this from last year. I don't even know if you could see the podium behind me because fans are filing in right now. But this is where the bus is going to land. This is where the players and the coaches and everyone is going to speak on that podium all the way back there behind those fans behind the gate. And we're expecting among the speakers, Donovan Klingon. Yesterday, a huge day for him, a huge announcement. Just a couple days after winning the national championship, Donovan Klingon announcing his decision to declare for the NBA draft. So while this is a celebration for the UConn Huskies, it's also a bit of a farewell for one of the greatest players in UConn history. I actually caught up with Donovan's grandmother earlier ago, like, 10 minutes ago or so, she's here along with the rest of the Klingon clan. I was asking her, how are you feeling? And she goes, good now. Because the, the, the entire Klingon family, they were following Donovan throughout the run, as we were through Brooklyn and Boston and Phoenix. The Klingons were there. They're there for every game. And now they could breathe. Exciting times for Donovan. We expect him. He's expected to be a top 10 pick. We expect him to be among the first bigs, if not the first big, taken off the board in the NBA draft. Should we talk to some fans? I think we should talk to some fans. Hey, guys. Hey, you want to be on the news? What's your name? Freya. What's your name? Adelaide. What's your name? Daphne. Big UConn fans? Yeah. Excited to be here? Yes. yes. How are we feeling? Good. Can I get a UConn? A go, go Huskies on three. Ready? One, two, three. Go Huskies! That's awesome. Where are you guys from? Vernon, Connecticut. Well, welcome. You guys excited too? Yes, we're excited. <laughs> All right. I love your hats, by the way. These are great. We're going to catch up with more fans throughout the day. This is fun. Fans are just starting to file in, guys. You see a lot of fans behind me. Expect about triple this in 40 minutes or so, maybe even less. We remember this from last year. It's going to be so much fun throughout the day. Sending it back to you.
Jonah, to be in Bristol after a championship where, win where Donovan Klingon is from, this community just loves him so much. I wonder if you'd speak to the magic of this team. Stefan Castle, Donovan Klingon, Tristan Newton, their style of play was just so beautiful. It was not about one man here this season. It was about a team. Mm -hmm. Keith, you could make the case that this is not only one of the greatest Huskies teams of all time, you could make a legitimate argument this is one of the greatest college basketball teams of all time with what this UConn team accomplished this year. Most wins in program history in a single season. The scoring differential in the tournament. We saw them steamroll through the tournament last year. They were better this year. It was remarkable what this team accomplished and star power, as you mentioned. Donovan Klingon, one of several players we expected to get drafted. Yeah, absolutely. Such a well-rounded team, and it is going to be sad to see some of those seniors go or some of those players who are moving on to the big leagues. All right, thank you, Jonah. Have fun out there. Now let's check in with Fox 61's Jim Altman. He's joining us live along the parade route. Right here by the uh, right here by the arch, guys. Dimension picking up, volume picking up, and in April, yes, some amount of arch madness. That's what it's all about. It is a good time out here, and uh, it's only getting better. Guys, we'll send it back to you. And as we take a live look at the parade route here, expecting dozens of different organizations mm -hmm. to turn out Yukon Fire, the Magic Soul Drumline, Eversource, the Yukon Cheerleading Association, uh, a testament, Sarah, to the support this team and university has really all across Connecticut. Absolutely, and all those alumni out there cheering on their Huskies, so much pride in their hometown team as well. Uh, you could see here a drum line. Can we take a listen for a little bit? Are we able to? about the group you're seeing here. This is Hartford's proud drill, drum, and dance corps. They perform all over our region. Fox 61's proud to sponsor them oh, as part awesome. of our Making an Impact Grant Committee, supporting the community engagement and the youth involvement that they are part of. Those young people so incredibly talented, stepping up time and time again to share their skills and talents with all of us. And what a season it was for the Yukon Huskies as well. Uh, a big moment for them. They'll be at the very end of the parade right before that rally. But in the meantime, you're just looking at all of the sponsors, all of the community organizations that are coming out to support the Huskies. Uh, and so much to look back on and to etch into the record books. As for the fans, getting a chance to watch history unfold right here at home is something they'll remember for ages. Trophy number six comes with plenty of history for the UConn men's basketball team. It's the first time the men have repeated as national champions and the first time a men's team has gone back to back in over a decade. The Huskies have never lost in a national championship game, winning all six times they fought for the title. They're now tied with the North Carolina Tar Heels for the third most championships in NCAA history. Ahead of them, UCLA with 11 and Kentucky with eight. One of the keys to the Husky success, their star guard, Tristan Newton. He transferred from East Carolina and immediately made an impact in the Huskies' two national championships. Just look at his resume. Most outstanding player in the 2024 tournament. First team All-American. Winner of the Bob Cousy Award for Best Point Guard and a finalist for the John Wooden Player of the Year. Newton was also on the NCAA All-Tournament team and named All-Big East First Team. But possibly the biggest honor came when the Huskies returned home from Arizona when he was inducted into the Huskies of Honor, an elite group of UConn basketball legends who will be remembered for their impact on and off the court. Without you guys, we know got number six. And, you know, thank you for everything. And just to further prove stores is the college basketball capital of the world. Only one school in the NCAA has ever won back-to-back -back national championships in both men's and women's basketball. The UConn women and Gina Oriyama did it first and now the UConn men and Dan Hurley.
you are a diehard college basketball fan, so to <laughs> see am. this, it is just remarkable is really to see cool. and hear all of that. Yeah, and to be here in the college basketball capital of the world and feel all the energy, I just, I do appreciate college basketball so much. Let's check in with Fox 61's Bridget Bjorlo. She is live along the parade route. Hey, Bridget, how are things going out there? Hey, good morning, Sarah and Keith. As you can see, a lot of action happening behind me. This is the parade heading down Trumbull and Jewel as we celebrate the back-to-back -back champions, the UConn men's basketball team. Check out the parade going on live right here. And I also want to show you how many fans are here. I'm going to cut across just to show you all of these fans. Can I get a go Huskies, everybody? Are live on the air. is the shining moment. Six is the shining moment. And they did it, right? What is the pride like, just being Husky Nation? Oh, my God. It's so wonderful. Man. Look at all these people. This is fabulous oh, for Connecticut. Who would think in Connecticut we could do this? And two years in a row, and it's not raining for the parade, right? Exactly. Thank all you. Right. Nice meeting you. So here we go. We have some more activity going on. Uh, fans have been pouring through. There's so many people coming through this parade around. You see this man on stilts here. So many firing up the crowd. We hear a lot of Yukon, go Huskies. The fans are just electric. You see some uh, jugglers coming through as well. Now the team itself, they're coming through the arches, heading our way. They're going to finish at the XL Center, and there's going to be a number of remarks delivered by the governor, the head coach, the players, a lot going on. And I want to show you also how many kids are here. You see a lineup of kids uh, sitting, watching their team. A lot of these players are heroes, role models for young people, so it's really exciting to be all a part of it. I want to also bring you, Del, if you come over with me here. Hi, everybody. How's it going? Can I get a go Huskies? You're live on the air. Hi. You're live on the air. What's your name? Mason. Mason, what's it like to be here today? On the see the parade. Who do you want to see? What player? Uh, number 30-something. Can I get a go Huskies? Go Huskies. All right, let's see the shaker go. Woo! All right. How are you guys feeling? How's everyone feeling today? Good. You're excited to be here? Keith and Sarah, what an exciting day. The sun is shining. The wind has calmed down for sure. You want to say go Huskies, too? You got Huskies! All right. Huskies. So exciting to be a part of this day, huh? It is. It's, it's, we, we're so privileged. We have it often, but we never get sick of it. It's always amazing. Let's make it round three next year. Yay, right? round three. Let's go. <laughs> So we're live in downtown Hartford. We're bringing you live parade coverage of this victory parade. Go Huskies is what I'm hearing here in Hartford, Keith and Sarah. Thank you, Bridget. I love that sentiment, right? Yeah. We, we get it a lot, but we're not sick of it. Such <laughs> a beautiful that. reminder, too, that there's so much more that unites us mm -hmm. than divides us. Jimmy Altman has been a fixture on Fox 61. <laughs> I won't say how many years, but a few. <laughs> you raised your family in this community, Jimmy. I know you live and love days like this and you have a special guest it looks like who's with you this morning uh, you know you know who Jendai is the angel of Edgewood I mean I've seen so many people here at Keith and Sarah walking by how exciting is today oh my god go Huskies there you go. yes there you go. so get, good to see get you get back to that parade yes, yes, good to see you leaving. cheer them on I gotta tell you I, I've been some of the fans make a little fun of me I'm a Syracuse grad but I am a Yukon Dad, my daughter Madeline was at Gamble on Monday night. She got to see the back-to-back -back national championships, and I got more people are showing up now. Wait, wait a minute, Brian, Lucila, Milford, Stephen, can we look? Show, show those earrings. You want to talk about impeccable, impeccable attention to detail, Lucila? How, how exciting has this been? This is so exciting. It's been an amazing season. These guys are incredible. We love our Huskies. Brian, you came from Milford today. You're a big fan. Did you think we'd be standing here another year? Yeah. Let's do it again. 
Why three P. Yeah, three P. Three P. Right now. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be tough, but let's do it. Susan is a UConn grad, right? Yes, class Representing 84. the capital city right here. Frank, how exciting for you? Yeah. It's exciting. This is this is this is like the Super Bowl, you know? Yeah. Literally like the Super Bowl for our state, you know? Dan Hurley, hell of a guy. Keep doing the, what you're doing, brother. We got you. We you guys got are you. talking three peat already. Yeah. Can we just enjoy the parade. Yes, we can boy. Right, let's people. see how loud, because the other folks uh, on the Fox 61 news team have gotten the crowd riled up, but I think I can do it better. Oh, yeah, so can we do it, guys? Yeah. You you can't! Husky! Husky! You can't! No shortage of personality in the streets of Hartford today, Keith, Sarah. All right, and folks, we're just seeing a live look there at Coach Dan Hurley. So to take a moment here, led the team to a 28-3 and regular season record, 11th Big East regular season championship win. And he has said he is excited to be in stores and to stay there, the 2024 Naismith Coach of the Year. And the first coach, folks, to lead UConn to back-to-back -back championships, signing autographs to a number of fans. Yeah, this camera is on the bus with the players, but our Ryan Breton is on the ground as that bus is rolling by, getting fan reaction. Hi, Ryan. Sarah and Keith, this is the moment we've been waiting for, right? Here come the champs, coming right down from the state capitol, about to take a turn onto Trinity Street. This is the beginning of the crowd, and you can see some people following the bus along. This is a rolling rally that then ends at the XL Center, where we'll all celebrate. Uh, take a look. Here they come. You see Donovan, see Coach, congratulations, the back-to-back -back champions. And the mood here is just so awesome. The fact the weather's held up, which is a big deal, too. And I'm going to come down here and, and, and chat real quick. What number parade is this for you? This is my second. And last year was the first? Actually, I came 10 years ago. Oh, that's 2014. Awesome. What's it like to be back? Back. Here this, they come. this is unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Best team ever. It's, this is great. It brings the community and the state together. Really awesome. Absolutely. And here they are. Take a look up. I'll let you listen to the sights and sounds as the team rolls by. You see the trophy right there? And uh, as you'd expect at a parade, they're throwing some shirts, some candy, some beads. And the crowd here is just pumped up. Sarah and Keith, this is just an awesome scene. And I'd say right here, we're about eight people deep. And this is the beginning of the route. So that crowd is just going to grow and grow as you head down toward the arches and then head back down toward the XL Center. But what a morning to be here in the capital city. And we are glad to share it with you. What? Yeah, let's do it next year too, right? Oh, definitely. Three three in a row. We're doing it. And doing it. Three feet. Three feet. Three feet. That's what we're next hearing year a lot for of. Sure. Let's do yeah, it. And, and for you, what yeah. parade is this for you? Number two. Number two. And I want to go to number three next year. Yeah. Yeah. You and me both. That's the spirit. Woo. Keith and Sarah will send it back to you in the studio. Love that. Thank you, Ryan. I love all the people who have been there through it all for all of the six championships. It's really, really cool to see. Uh, yeah. And I was going to say, when you talk about the talent that was on that bus, if we have that live picture, Tristan Newton, Donovan Klingon, Stefan Castle, just some of the men who brought this championship to life here. Uh, a shot here. And Dan Hurley as well. They're all local celebrities. Uh, and we have our Jim Altman. He is following the parade route as well. Jimmy, who do you have? I, I mean, I, uh, well, wait a minute. Look who we have. <laughs> Senator Richard Blumenthal, uh, mayor. Good to see you. Just please watch him yeah. because I'm a big fan. He's I'm one of my he's one of my favorite senators in all of Connecticut. <laughs> I, I, you gentlemen, c come over here and talk. It, it is. Uh, and you brought your son along too, uh, Senator. Good to see you. Yeah. How exciting is this? We're here two years in a row doing this, and it's Joe. Joe, come in here. John, come in here. Hartford is a great day for Connecticut. We are so proud of the UConn men. And, and it is the most dominant program in college basketball in the 24th century. It, 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 we might do this again this year. That's what the fans. It's We're your district. Congressman, it's your district. You're very proud, I know. Eastern Connecticut, 
college basketball capital of the world. Absolutely no debate. It's over. We're it. Go you guys. Did you think we'd be here again? No, I mean, back to back is like doesn't happen anymore with uh, you know anymore. the portal and everything else. So it's a great Hurley, time. Hurley and, and Gino also they're they're the masters. It's been, it's been yeah. a, a wonderful run, uh, Senator Blumenthal. It's good to see you here again. I am glad to be back. You're I'm a proud guy. I mean, you're very proud. I have been bragging about these guys all over the United States Senate. I've been giving all my colleagues grief. There is no team like UConn in the world. So we're very, very proud. It's an amazing achievement. Guys, thanks so much. Get back to it. Nice to see you. Good to see you guys. Get back. And Matt, you'll, you'll watch him. He's, he's good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> guys, we'll send it back to you. All right, right now you're taking a live look at this championship boss, The View, where the players and coaches are making their way through the capital city of Hartford and some remarkable crowds out there uh, this morning. Mm -hmm. um, it, it is just remarkable. To you see. can see too that they're signing T-shirts, yeah. <laughs> handing them out to the crowd. Really cool to see. All right, we're going to check back in with sports director Jonah Carp. Uh, Jonah, who do you have with you? Guys, I have my buddy Patrick, who came all the way from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Patrick, did you came in this morning? Yeah, uh, we left the house about 1.30 this morning. Oh my goodness, are you exhausted? No, not really, I've been uh, up for this. Uh, I even stayed up like all night, missed school the next day because I just had a blast uh, seeing the boys win the championship again. You're wide awake right now, but you're probably going to crash later. Probably. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be sleeping forever. Big Huskies fan? Oh, yeah. My parents both went to UConn. And you're a junior in high school, correct? Yep. Plan is for you to go to UConn, too? Uh, thinking about it. Definitely on my list. So, guys, Patrick is here, of course, to support the UConn men. But he has a message for one of the UConn women's basketball players. Is that right? Yeah. Let's see it. Paige Beckers, if you're watching and listening, uh, would you like to take a shot at the prom with me? Husky Nation, let's make it happen. Paige Beckers, if you're watching, if you're watching Fox 61, will you go to prom with Patrick? I hope so. What is your message to Paige? Why do you want her to go to prom? Um, well, she's number one, the best college basketball player in the world, and uh, I think she's also one of the prettiest women in the world. Let's see this sign again. Hold it up. Paige Beckers, go to prom with Patrick from Harrisburg. Husky Nation, let's make it happen. Let's get it up on social media. Let's do this. Yeah. Can we get a Go Huskies from you? Go Huskies! Basketball capital of the world, let's go! That's right. Send it back to you. Jonah, while we have you, speak to this women's team. I know the parade today is about the men, but we can't let today pass without really celebrating their accomplishments mm -hmm. on the court. Uh, these teams have supported one another, Jonah, and they have really uh, had a lot to be proud of as well, I know. This was an incredible season for the UConn women's basketball team, one that they, unlike in seasons in the past, they weren't expected to go as far as they did this year, making it all the way to the Final Four. Truly an impressive season. The big reason, of course, was that half the team was injured. They were playing with effectively seven players this entire season. And, well, not the entire season, but they had six players on the bench with season-ending injuries by the time the season came to a close. What this team accomplished was unprecedented, impressive, and truly remarkable. And a season worth celebrating if you're Gino Oriema and company. And the great news, of course, is that while Aaliyah Edwards and Nika Mule are both leaving, and those will be holes to fill next year, Paige Beckers is coming back for another ride. She's taken this team to the Final Four a couple of times. She's taken them to the national championship game. What can this team accomplish next year? That'll be the big question. Exciting times in stores for both the men and the women's teams, guys. Exactly. I mean, it is worth mentioning, as you said, that the men and women's teams, just such phenomenal teams. And to see them take it all the way to the Final Four as well. And, you know, they were met with Caitlin Clark. And to really also put women's college basketball on the map, it's been really cool to see Paige Beckers do that. Yeah, and as you take a live look here of these fans along the parade mm -hmm. route, I think just a testament to how much support this team has and how much the activity on the mm -hmm. basketball court is really transcending into 
into our community with tens of thousands of people, many of them young girls and boys looking up to these players. Yeah, in the every time a team makes it far in the championship and wins a championship, that does such amazing work for the university itself. And you could see some of those high school kids thinking, you know what, I want to go to UConn. I have Husky pride. Let's send it out to Bridget Biorlo. She is along the parade route. She's on the co corner of Jewel and Trumbull, probably with some of the rowdiest crowds we've seen all morning long. Hi, Bridget. <laughs> Good morning. As you can see, a lot happening behind me here. Let's take it right out to the parade route where you can see the band is throwing T-shirts at the crowd. And take a look at this. The man of the hour, Jonathan the Husky, right there coming through. And his brother, of course, he, he the cheerleaders, the dance team, are coming through as well. So much excitement in the air as we wait for the back-to-back -back national champions, the men's basketball team team to come through but check out these crowds guys it is really unbelievable tens of thousands of people you're alive on the air everybody You see more people coming through. It is just such an exciting day to be at UConn. People are calling Connecticut the basketball capital of the world. They're hoping to three-peat next year as well. You see them coming through Jewel Street. They are making their way down to the XL Center. If you look around this way, and that is where a big stage is set up. That's where our Jonah Carp is. The governor is going to be there. The coach Hurley is going to be there. All the players as they make their rally and celebrate a one more time. I come to you one more time because you brought so much excitement to us. How are you feeling now that the team is about to come our way? They are coming our way. Yeah, yeah. we're just waiting. We're so we're extremely excited. I didn't say before, but now next generation, I get to bring my granddaughters with me. It's just a blessing. Connecticut is a blessing for UConn sports. It is a family, a family experience to say the least. But the rain held off. The excitement is there, and everyone is so proud to be a part of Husky Nation. We are in downtown Hartford, Bridget Purlo, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station. Sarah, Keith. Thank you, Bridget. Let's send it out to Ryan Breton. He's at the beginning of the parade route. There's the team. Hi, Ryan. Hey there, guys. Like a lot of people, we made our way across Bushnell Park. The team now making its way down Jewel Street at the moment. Hey, guys, what'd you think of that? You're live on Fox 61. I think that was great. Wasn't it awesome? It was so awesome. What'd you, what'd you guys think? You're live on Fox 61. It was great. Back to back, baby. Let's, Let's do go. it again next year. Yes, sir. Yes. And then are you guys going to keep walking toward the We're going the this arena? way. We're going this way. That seems to be the pretty common theme here. You know, once the bus goes by with the team, everybody's making their way toward the XL Center, uh, where you'll hear from the team, from the coach, and the party rolls on. So just get a look at the street here. You can see all the people following the parade route and making their way down in that direction. What'd you think of that? I can't believe we got six. Next time, st stairway to seven. We're going back next year for three in a row. We love it. And that's the vibe here. It is a good one in downtown Hartford. We'll send it back to you. A beautiful Those live look here jazz. along the parade route. The bus is making its way through. We saw the UConn band come by moments ago. Uh, they celebrated this team as well. Such a team accomplishment pointing to the dance team, the band, the cheer team, a really community effort from UConn. Well, think of all the travel that yeah. those groups have to do throughout the year with the team, right? So that's a lot of dedication for cheer and band and all the other organizations at UConn. UConn. And here's a bus pulling up right now. Is this the, 
this is coming to the rally at the XL Center. Still, they're getting the crowd hyped. There's a huge crowd w waiting for them at the XL Center for that celebration rally. And as we take a look at these live pictures here, carrying team members and coaches, let's talk quickly about some of these seniors. Donovan Klingen, Stefan Castle, uh, Cam Spencer, Hassan Diara, Andrew Hurley. Those three names you don't always hear, but very mm -hmm. much a part of this accomplishment. Seniors with so much to celebrate and so much to be proud of. And just look there, Sarah Sanchez. I mean, that was massively packed last mm -hmm. year. I think the estimations were north of 45,000 people turning out wow. for a day like this, all in our beautiful capital city. And certainly, I'm sure that number will be similar this year as well, since we're back-to-back -back champions now. Let's head out to Jim Altman. He is along the parade route. He is finding some fun alumni who wouldn't miss it for the world. Hi, Jimmy. This is great stuff. You know what the great phenomenon is here is that we visited with you five minutes ago. It was packed. It was seven deep along each sidewalk. <laughs> Look at it now. Everybody's made a beeline for the XL Center. They see the, as soon as the bus goes by here, they cheer them on and then they head for the XL Center. So it was packed here. It is not anymore, but we have, we've got some, we've got some diehards here. Bristol's <laughs> finest, right? Bristol Central. We have um, Susan, we have Brian, and we have Mary, okay? All representing Hi. Bristol Central. Susan, how exciting has this been? And you guys were here at T32, right? Oh, yes, absolutely. Um, we've had season tickets for the last few years. We've watched Donovan come up since um, Bristol Central. Bristol and Central now experience. going through uh, UConn and just making our city so proud. Really. Yeah, and when I say 32, so I, I, I mean Donovan Klingon. That's your guy, Brian. Oh, yeah, definitely. We, we've been following him since uh, he's in high school. My son went to school with him. Uh, great guy, humble, very nice guy. Uh, what does a day like this mean to, to you guys? Anybody can take that. What, is it, what does a day like this mean to you guys? Well, uh, we've done this a few times before, so we're, we're hoping spoiled. to see. Uh, yeah, we're spoiled, yeah. Since 1999. Go Huskies! We were at the Stones concert. We let the Stones concert halfway through to go watch it at Coach's, the 99. That, that's a good, that is a, I, I think that's a good reason. The last thing I'm going to cover with you guys is, did you guys notice when the bus went by? Because it's overcast today. It's a little yeah. windy. What happened when the bus went by? The sun came right out. Shining moment. <laughs> shining moment. Was that one shining moment? Yes. <laughs> right on our Donovan Klingon and our Huskies. Absolutely. Which has happened six times. You guys are spoiled. But we congratulations. Yeah. You have to get to the XL oh, Center. We we That's go. where everybody go. is going go. now. Go. Jonah is down there. We'll have a bit more from you. For now, we'll send it from uh, the Arch in downtown Harvard back to the studio with Keith. All right, as you're taking this guys. live look there, you just saw Alex Caravan holding up that championship trophy in front of a sea of people here. And some context, Sarah, to what we are celebrating here. The first school since 2006, 2007 to repeat as men's national basketball champions. UConn winning straight, 10 straight tournament games by a double digit margin. It's wild. Dating back to last year's tournament and UConn undefeated in national championship games. Six and oh, another shot of Alex mm -hmm. Caravan with a very lucky young gentleman there <laughs> on board with the team hoisting that trophy high above the our capital trophy. city. Absolutely. And you hearing so many fans, so many alumni out there who celebrated 99, 04, 2011, 2014, 2023. And now this year, it is so exciting for that alumni. But look at this crowd. My goodness, all those people who are following the bus, following those players to the XL Center. It, it was actually, I laughed out loud when I saw yeah. Jimmy's, uh, <laughs> he, he had no one around him anymore. All right, let's head out to Jonah Carp, who is at the XL Center in the middle of it all. Jonah. with the band and everyone took out their phones. Everyone is so excited right now. Hey guys, come in. I ran into a bunch of UConn fans. They want to start a champ, I think. How excited are we today? We're so excited. We're so happy to be back to back champs today. Jonah, we love UConn! Should we start a champ? Yeah, let's go, let's go. Everyone follow along. I'm taking your lead. All right. All right. Ready? Ready? U C O N N. 
UConn, UConn, UConn! Yeah! That's how it's done! All right! Doesn't get any better than this, guys. All right, Lindsay, uh, more and more fans are going to continue to pile in as the UConn buzz brings closer. Back to you guys. Lindsay Kane and Julia LeBlanc, both UConn Husky grads, and they know those chants by heart. But folks, as we take a look live here, this our incredible capital city as Connecticut's news station celebrates all that is great oh about our gosh. region. When we talk about a community, when we talk about supporting one another and that there's so much more that unites us than divides us, let this crowd be a testament to that and these incredible players who have led this championship run with such incredible class, hard work, and dignity. Hats off to Tristan Newton, a two-time NCAA men's basketball champion, a 2024 NCAA tournament most outstanding player, all tournament teams, the Bob Cousy award winner. Uh, Sarah also inducted into the men's Huskies of Honor on Tuesday. So what does that mean? Well, not only is he an incredible basketball player, he's a Huskies of Honor. That program pays tribute inside Gamble Pavilion to top student athletes because a reminder here, these young men are students first, uh, coaches and contributors in men's and basketball history. Our downtown, Sarah, is packed. Tristan Newton has said throughout the season, too, that this is one of the best college basketball programs he believes in all of history, one of the best college basketball teams in all of history. And he's been really confident in saying that, and I think they proved it. They proved it time and time again, especially with that win at, in the championship game. My goodness. Absolutely. Stefan Castle also aboard that bus this morning. Folks, a freshman, the 2024 Big East All-Freshman Team, 2024 Big East Rookie of the Year. He was on fire on the court throughout the tournament. Rumored for the 2024 NBA draft, still not confirmed. NBA experts projecting him as a potential first round draft pick. And of course, as that speculation unfolds, you're taking a look at crowds here and folks taking pictures. Mm -hmm. Breaking news we had for you earlier this week, the announcement from Donovan Klingon that he would declare for the 2024 NBA draft as we celebrate UConn. Uh, he is a Bristol negative a team that has just been so incredibly proud um uh, is that Andrew Hurley? Has been so incredibly proud. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, that was Andrew Hurley, I believe. <laughs> and, and look at the coach here. Look at Coach Dan Hurley. It yeah. is almost like he's on the sidelines because if you watch yeah. him coach, mm -hmm. he gets so animated he on is. the sidelines. He is. I love watching him. Almost like <laughs> one of the players. And when we speak to his accomplishments as a coach, as a dad, his son on the team, yep. so incredibly proud of the fact that they could have shared that experience together. The whole Hurley family, deep roots in our basketball world a live look here at the bus uh, and the stats on Hurley Sarah are pretty impressive yeah, he's the first coach to lead UConn to back-to-back -back championships he'll go down as one of the best coaches in UConn program history he led UConn to a 28-3 regular season record as well 11th Big East regular season championship he is a coach that everyone has absolutely loved. He is a local celebrity, and you can see he's signing a lot of those shirts, handing them out into the audience or into that big crowd. It is just so awesome to see all those people showing up for UConn alumni, future students as well. I love all the young fans out in the crowd. And it's also, you know, with uh, Donovan Klingon, local kid. And to see all of the Bristol out there supporting uh, Donovan as well. All seven foot two of him. <laughs> yeah, I'm six two, so he's one foot over oh my me. Gosh, and uh, you're so tall. <laughs> tens of thousands of people expected out here. And when I see crowds like this and a celebration like this, I'm reminded of all of those fans at home. Mm -hmm. uh, young Jack Murphy, my captain from the Down Syndrome Association of Connecticut earlier this season, he was holding the microphone up to his television at home. Mm -hmm. Aww. Interviewing Alex Caravan and then after the win, holding that banner, really a reflection of the fact, here's that photo I'm talking uh. about here, a youngster from Glastonbury who has so much to be proud of for himself, but you're reminded of the fact that these young men are touching hearts in ways that they don't even understand. They mean so much to this state, so much to their communities. They're great role models. They work together so well as a team. It was one of those teams 
teams where, yeah, you know, Donovan Klingon, you know, was a big name. Everyone knows who he is. But at the same time, this is a team that couldn't have gotten to where they got without working together, without Dan Hurley leading them. It was one of the most well-rounded college basketball teams we saw this year, hands down, and they proved it. And as you look at the trophy here being hoisted high above Hartford, I'm reminded of an interview that sports director Jonah Karp had for us following the championship win, interviewing some of these men, talking about how their bond and friendship really is transcending, Sarah. Mm. Whatever you saw on the court, that whether it be tomorrow or years down the road, these young individuals are gonna stand by one another no matter their need, really a testament to the yep. bond that they've created, a winning bond. Coach Dan Hurley has stressed throughout this tournament that his team got right to work following last year's championship win. They were hungry, they wanted to repeat, and that is exactly what they have done here. UConn, the only school to have both men's and women's basketball programs win in the same year. That was back in 2004 and 2014. UConn now tied with UNC for the third most national championships in NCAA history UCLA with 11 and Kentucky 8 but let me tell you Sarah with what we have seen over the course of the last two seasons they are hungry to take on some of those totals and they deserve it as well so this is on Trumbull Street this is in front of the Excel Center there's a stage set up right here for the rally we're going to have several speakers so local politicians as well as members of the team UConn members as well uh, let's see also we have a lot some of the athletes are expected to speak for a little bit but you can see how absolutely massive that crowd is uh, we saw that crowd following the team bus as it made its way through downtown Hartford and what a special moment to be able to share our incredible capital city uh, with folks who are coming really from all over the world. Recently Emmy nominated sports director Jonah Karp has followed this team and covered it in ways unmatched here in Connecticut. Jonah we are proud of you and all that you've been able to do for us and this state over the course of the season. If you can hear me my friend you are back in Connecticut. What are you seeing? I'm seeing as many fans as I've seen in my entire life in one location. I mean, this is outstanding. It's reminiscent of what it was last year. And just like last year, I want to welcome in Dom Amore to add some context to this historic UConn basketball season. Dom, what a ride for UConn basketball. You can make the case this is the greatest Huskies team of all time. You could also make the case this is one of the greatest basketball teams of all time. Yeah, certainly in the college game, it, it has that, that context to it. Uh, you know, obviously 37 and three, but to do what they've done, you know, two years in a row, you think about how hard it is to do. And I think the important thing is that, you know, people need to enjoy it because a, a college program could do everything right and not win in 40 years. Look at UCLA, whoever dreamed that they would never win again after John Wooden left. So it's important, even though they've won six, you want to enjoy these things when you have a chance because we may not see this again for a long time. And next year's team is going to look very different. We already know that Donovan Klingon has declared for the NBA draft. I, I would say at least four starters are going to be different next year. Yeah, no question about that. Uh, Alex Caravan is the wild card. He's kind of, to me, I think he's right on that in that no man's land where, you know, it might benefit him to come back and play another year. It might not. He certainly doesn't owe any. He's given a, everything he, he could ask for. So, but, so the important thing for Don, for Alex is to get really good advice and make sure he's doing what's best for him. But if he does come back, yeah, you know, I, I assume uh, Hassan Diarra will be back, Samson Johnson. That's a pretty good place to start, pretty good threesome to get started. And it all starts with Dan Hurley, who did a marvelous job all season. Him and his coaching staff, Luke Murray, Kamadi Young, Tom Moore. What a job by this coaching staff. Oh, looks like uh, we're having some audio difficulties there with Jonah. The all right, Let's Hartford Mayor Aruna Nulampalam, a dad first and foremost, a huge UConn fan at this podium now. Let's listen in. Let's go, UConn! I want to introduce you to your UConn Huskies! Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Up next, please help me welcome our esteemed Lieutenant Governor, Susan Bicewitz! Hello, Husky Nation! Are we so proud of this amazing team? Yes! 
we gonna have a third back-to-back -back championship next year? And are the Huskies gonna win? The Husky women gonna win next year? Woo! All right, congratulations. We're so proud of you. We are the college basketball capital of the world. Go Huskies! Thank you so much, Lieutenant Governor. Up next, please help me welcome the governor of the great state of Connecticut, where champions are made and championships are built, Ned Lamont. Hey, America, this is what the basketball capital of America looks like right here. Let's hear it for the Huskies. The women are going to be next year. Look at the guys. We are the champions, my friend. God bless you all. Thank you, Governor Lamont. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the stage the athletic director of this championship program, David Mendez! Best fans in the world right here. Six years ago, we had a chance to introduce our head coach, Dan Hurley, and I get a chance to do it again. Two-time national championship head coach, Dan Hurley. Yeah, yeah. Let's hear it. Come get loud, loud as shit. Come on. Back to back. Hey, everywhere we went this year, yeah. <laughs> yeah, get loud. Let's go. Hey. Hey, everywhere we went this year, every arena we went into, on the road, MSG, Brooklyn, Boston, the Phoenix, we said the same thing every time we walked into the arena. We always said, the champs are here. Right? The champs are here. The, the champs are here today in Hartford with the best fans in the world. Right? Basketball capital world. Storms Connecticut. Back-to-back -back champs. Back-to-back -back champs. Some of the greatest players to ever wear the uniform, right? Some of the greatest players to ever wear the UConn uniform are up here. And then next year we go for the three-peat. Let's go. Let's welcome Connecticut native. UConn Nation, let's go, back-to-back -back champs, what do you say? Now, I just want to thank everyone, this team wants to thank everyone, you guys gave us a lot of support, a lot of boosters here, you guys made us want to go out there and win another one. I appreciate you guys, you guys have been the best fans to me for the past two years, I'll, I'll cherish those moments for the rest of my life, I'll be a Husky for life, love you guys. Let's go! <laughs> Thank you guys for everything. We wouldn't be here without you guys and the support, and you guys are the best fans in the country, so thank you. Enjoy back to back, and you know, thank you guys for everything. Thank you so much, Alex. You know, listen, he wasn't here last year, but we had to get him one, didn't we? Welcome to the podium. Hey!
just want to say thank you for all the support. You know, we wouldn't have been able to accomplish this without you guys. You know, we, we feel like we had the best fans in the country. And, uh, you know, I, I was only here for a year, but, you know, I'll be a Husky for life. And thank you for everything. So. Thank you, Cam. Next up to the podium, it is the most recent Husky of honor and the MOP himself, Tristan. You know, I just want to come up here and say thank you for all the support that you guys have given me the past two years and supporting the team. Uh, without you guys, back-to-back -to -back wouldn't have been possible. And, you know, thank you for everything. Citizens of the basketball capital of the world, one more time, you're back-to-back -back national champions, the UConn. A common theme here as we continue to look live at the Yukon National Championship basketball team, Sarah Sanchez. Gratitude. These seniors so grateful not only for their coach, their teammates, but the fans that have traveled with this team and have watched from home and have now turned out in such phenomenal numbers to celebrate our great capital city, to celebrate all things UConn, and to celebrate what is really a remarkable accomplishment from this group of young men who set out last spring and said we are ready to repeat as champions. They hit the hard work. They hit the hard work, hard wood, and the hard work uh, pulling off this incredible accomplishment. And, you know, as we've mentioned, that some of these players are seniors, some are entering the draft. So this is also an emotional moment for them, right? They've been together as a team, most of them, for two seasons now. They've accomplished so much together with Dan Hurley. And now it's their time to move on. But for them, that is very emotional. But also, you know, this is a celebration, too. And first and foremost, they deserve this entire crowd that's out celebrating them in downtown Hartford. We heard from Tristan Newton, who NBA experts do believe will be a second round draft pick in the NBA draft. So, so much is going to change for a lot of these players in just months from now. And Donovan Klingon, of course, a proud son of Bristol, declaring earlier this week the same intentions to join the NBA. So, an incredible way to cap off a phenomenal UConn career for these young men as they celebrate, yes, another UConn national championship championship win as you're looking live over our great capital city here tens of thousands of people turning out on what to be a what turned out to be a pretty decent day weather wise but i suspect so nice. sarah rain or shine these crowds would be out to celebrate yeah, i don't think it would have made days. much of an impact on those crowd numbers out there if it was raining it just would have been a little soggy out there reminder though that this team has been celebrating since monday night when they won the championship they've been going for almost a week now there's a lot of partying there they've been doing and they deserve it. And we thank you so much for joining us for our special coverage of the UConn Championship celebration as the Huskies go back to back. If you are an alumni, congratulations. UConn Nation, you should be proud. Yeah, we are proud to be Connecticut's news station and to celebrate all of this with you. The big question now, can they make it a three-peat? I say yes. Let the hard work begin. A reminder, team coverage throughout the day across all of our digital platforms tonight on the Fox 61 News at 10 as well. Yeah, with Dan Hurley, really anything's possible. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us. Have a great day. Have a good one. Go on.